anticipate happiness and happiness will sometimes be in the workshop needing repair but you just got some garage on so oh so oh it's all falling down over there but Shall that doesn't matter then? Now. Okay, I just popped by. I came by earlier, but I've just come by again to especially say thank you for my waterproof trousers and all the waterproof things my family that have made this weekend bearable from you, the free lender. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Carol. It's a real pleasure. <laughs> Cheers. Well, the sky's good somewhere. Maybe we'll get a view of the sky again. We're on our way to Butterfield. Sun, the sky's coming round. Oh, that's a bit bright. The sky came round. We're not in Anticipate Happiness, not the official one. The substitute Anticipate Happiness. It is a Mercedes and it goes smoothly. We're just running a bit late. Now, not so very long ago, I was at another event with Buddhists and there were 400 people there. It was interesting to see how many people I felt attracted to, and I'm talking sexual attraction, out of 400. And there were five out of 400 um, women who I was attracted to. I've just seen one walking along and I saw her, I didn't know whether she was single or um, involved with someone. I'm not single, so I'm not looking for someone, but I have this problem called a pair of testicles which um, I expect to be with for the rest of my life, this problem. So, um, that may change. Anyhow, <laughs> no, I'm not planning for it to change, just to get that clear. Anyhow, I'm at the Butterfield Festival, and there she was. I suddenly saw her arm in arm with someone, uh, with a bloke, um, arm around waist, sorry, um, under an umbrella. And um, the first thing I looked at was the lower part of both of their bodies to see whether they had proper rain wear for the lower part of their bodies. What I have on my back is a bag full of uh, waterproof trousers and what's happening over here in this tent is that a guy called Yo has come in and spontaneously started sorting out all the two sacks of rain wear that are available at, at Buddhafield um, on a donation basis or a street bank pay it forward basis. So there are cards there about Street Bank that you can pick up a card and uh, then put items on Street Bank um, once you've uh, got back home from this festival. So that's, um, I'm just really pleased that um, I'm working on my ethics um, and my terrible natural inclinations to uh, look at people's attractiveness, um, physical attractiveness, before taking in uh, the rest of the situation. I'm really glad that I looked at someone's needs first and uh, the rest later. I might go and interview that man. Priya Darker! Are you happy to be on camera? Well, you could say something about your experience of uh, Butterfield and or being with me as we've not always found each other's company. Well, I found your company less challenging than I think you found mine. So, because um, what I'm trying to learn about is how to do the things I do in a way that engages people rather than uh, gets them slightly scared that they're not going to get to Butterfield or um, that something yeah. is going to go too wrong. Um, so what's been your experience, perhaps over 48 hours or...? I've heard there's mostly not much rain, that's good, mm -hmm. and then a bit of rain which is not so fantastic. Uh, I'm enjoying people. How's the weather been between us? As he says, he says touching us, um, umbrellas. Touching umbrellas. Yeah, uh, there's always uh, there's rumbly, the... rumbly clouds going on. <laughs> yes. Uh, unpredictable. Uh, I think, uh, Do you want to tell the van story? Because it's part of my Butterfield. Tell it from your point of view. Uh, the van story is rather what I expected. <laughs> I expected so you want to be known shambolic. to be right. Uh, I expected a shambolic... Um, can I say, not entirely properly functioning experience, and that's you, what I you, got. You mean you didn't expect to be delivered here in a Merc, as you were? Mm, I didn't know what, how I'd be delivered here. I thought <laughs> you thought it would be some strange van I'd bought? I knew there'd be a story behind it. I yeah. There'd be a, an elaborate story behind it. And I got you here in a Merc. A little late, yeah, you had yeah, to sleep yeah, in a tent that wasn't your own yeah, because no, no, you arrived right. so late. I, well, I love that, it was an Indian head shake. 
you know, it's kind of, I'm finding you irritating, but I'll put up with it and be friendly. Yeah, it's not quite that, but no, isn't it that? Not irritating, no. Not irritating. Well, what, what is the shake of the head for you? Well, sleeping in a, someone else's tent was all right. Getting here late was all right. But the stress before that, yeah, that was definitely. partly induced yeah. by my yeah. um, sh slip shoddedness. What your should we call of, it? Your lack of self-meta. My lack of self-meta. Your over-busyness. My over-busyness. Uh, fear. Fear. I'm doing one thing at a time. I'm doing one thing at a time. The fact that I'd kind of fallen down in all of those departments caused you some yeah. discombobulation. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but your discombobulation has abated. Yeah, green fields. Disc slackens things off a little bit. Uh, the fact that you've meditated this morning makes me feel confident. The fact that I've meditated makes me feel alright. And what would you recommend to the viewers that they do within the next 24 hours to improve their life? Brush their teeth, uh, enjoy the rain, dance, meditate, eat. Cool, Not thank you. Anything, no, only one thing at a time. Oh, I was going to try and do all of those together. <laughs> Cheerio! <laughs> Freelander Tent, Butterfield Festival, 2012, and a display with a prop of a blow-up man in a walk-in greenhouse. What does he say? Recruiting teams to give six weeks, six months or seven years to building a more caring and sharing community around you. And here in this walk-in greenhouse, what else do we have? We have a Buddha. Buddha with a big generosity hand. And in the tent, a large number of raincoats and other rainwear ready to be given in exchange for a donation to Butterfield or a Time Bank Tower. That Time Bank Tower would probably be spent, um, well what I'm suggesting is spent lending things to others through sites such as streetbank.com. <laughs> So this is the uh, Freelender tent, um, giving rain wear out on a pay it forward basis or a donation to Budderfield. This is where you go, you've got to take your boots off um, at this line and you'll see bursting through Freelander is Street Bank. Ah, oh, things are getting wet, I need to do something about this. I need to put that, those there. Street Bank is what we're advertising more than Freelander, as I think it's going to be a better place, definitely is a better place for people to connect with their communities after coming here. Hi, you've come into the tent, tell me about it. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Do you want any rainwear? Yeah, I would like that to be filmed. Okay, you're not on camera. Is it okay that I take your voice? No. No, that's not okay either. Um, so <laughs> One thing you go away with is kind of focus your attention on valuing the needs within yourself and realize human beings are only ever trying to meet needs. Thank you. Thank you. And waterproof. Can you, can you, can you say it? If you've, got, uh, if you've got a need for um, warmth and shelter or whatever and you haven't got any waterproofs, this man here has got a whole load of waterproofs to give away in terms of a donation of your time or money. Those on those are leggings on the carpet in front of the red, um, in front of the red um, thing, and there's loads more just near the welfare tent. To the right hand side, the Freelander tent is where we've got a tent full of rain gear from um, Llamas Pajamas in London is where it's come from. So donation to Butterfield or join your local streetbank.com and start sharing with people, please. Hello. Yes. Sorry, I don't know your name. Madeline. Okay, Madeline. Um, could you let me know something about um, what websites you've seen and been on recently? Yeah, it's just quite a coincidence. I just saw last week the website Freelander. 
and I was quite intrigued by it, by the community and how everybody was giving things for free away and that you could offer things and, and ask and give things away, yeah. And what did you decide to do when you saw the website? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do now you've seen us here too? <laughs> giving, giving your friend um, some lovely r red, uh, yeah, red things. How about Not you go back and go on to Street Bank exactly, it's quite and then an add a few things as your thanks for um, what you've seen people do here. Exactly, we'll do that because we will be moving house in, the, in a few oh, weeks. Oh yeah, and you were saying you'll be giving so away. Yes, so we've, got, we've got lots of stuff and, and you know, if it's useful to other people then... Shore and by the Sea, um, can you um, suggest um, a name that you might call yourself on the Street Bank? Because you, you come up with a name and I like names that express values. Um, or a location or something that someone can connect with. What might, well, there's a hard one because you've got to give yourself a name on Street Bank. What, what might you call yourself? You know, well, you could probably be Stephen Madelon, but we could be ra rather, rather than Parrot Man because this is your parrot with his wellies. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> we, could be, we, could, we call ourselves Soggy Parrot. <laughs> okay, you might be called Soggy Parrot on Street Bank or you might be Steve Madden. Steve yeah. Madelon. Steve, Steve and Madelon. Well, thank yeah. you, Steve Madelon and Soggy Parrot <laughs> for sharing oh, this time with Lend It All Man, Paul Crossland. <laughs> Cheers. Waterproof trousers, waterproof trousers, waterproof trousers, waterproof trousers, waterproof trousers. Coats, we'll ignore those things. Um, flippers maybe, maybe it's a sea lion. Um, more waterproof trousers and coats. Um, I'm sometimes known as, oh you can't see the van very clearly, um, where it says that lend it all man. Well, I'm sometimes known as the man of many shirts. Today, however, it's not the shirts that are many. You see I've got a pair of waterproof trousers on, just putting another pair over the top. So I am the man of many waterproof trousers, but I would like to share them with you. This is a service available for festivals and bar mitzvahs and parties, so do use it. Do uh, contact me paul at mediationsupport.info for all of your rainwear supplies. Exactly, um, yeah. And um, yeah, just give a smile and you don't know how, how even a, giving a smile creates ripples in the world Absolutely. that you might not know yeah. how far they go. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Thank you for your oh, smile. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fight, closing words? The sun will come out mm. tomorrow. <laughs> but your free economy dollar. <laughs> Excellent. It'll be sunny tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> Cheerio. Okay, Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye.